Hi guys, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Carmia, back with another thrifty haul from Savers. This time I'm bringing back our jewelry jars. Look at what I found, a $6.99 jewelry jar. I was trying to look at it, and as you guys know, for us junk journalers, we love these type of jars to harvest some of the jewelry in here for our junk journals and possibly find some that we can use. So let's have a look and see what's in here now if you've been if you've seen my shorts you might have seen me feature this but we are going to take a closer look at these pieces all right our first necklace there is a silver tone and it's a statement necklace really light it looks like it would be metal and heavy but it's not it's really light i also like that it has this cute miniature silver ball on the extender this will be fun to wear in the new year's party this has to be the cheapest jewelry jar I have purchased from Savers. I'm really surprised to see that some of these pieces are definitely wearable and are going to be fun to use this summer. But here is one that I think I would use this summer. I think it's faux pearl and it has what they call one of those fish hook little closures. Really pretty. So that's our second necklace. Usually when I see some of their more junkier um, jewelry jars that are not wearable, there's a lot of, you know, single earrings and stuff like that. But I was really happy to see that this had a beautiful selection. Here's a really nice one again to wear with a nice, beautiful summer dress. We had some seed beads and there is your closure and it is working. So super happy with that. Let's see what else we have. I think this one my daughter Lil will like. I also like shades of purple. So this is really pretty with some rhinestones and you have some of these little beads. Really cute and I like the findings on that one. And then it has a leather little uh, necklace there. So really awesome. I think she'll have fun. Now this next piece is really interesting and pretty big. So let me just twist it so that we can see it properly here. Definitely a metal piece, but you have these fun little beads here. Let me know if you know the style, but definitely a statement necklace there. I can take it apart and possibly use it in our journals for some fun dangles. I'm still thinking about it, but I think it's a really fun piece. If you like statement necklaces, comment down below or let me know if, if you're the kind that likes to wear more, um, you know, subtle and like smaller pieces. Oops, sorry about that. This next one reminds me of Mardi Gras for some reason. I love the fun colors here. Um, let's see. It's a really long piece, but I can see uh, people celebrating Mardi Gras and going through the parades wearing something like this. Really fun colors on there. So really, really cool. Again, this can be taken apart, harvested, and used for other like little crafty projects and dangles. We have a few more necklaces in here, and then I will be showing you another cute little mystery bag that I think um, some collectors will enjoy. Now here's what this one looks like. I love these beads. Those are really cool, and I love the red on that. And these are really interesting. I think it's really pretty. Wearable as well, uh, but you know, we'll see. I like that. This one's another fun piece, very boho, I think. Uh, let's see. So this is the closure. There's like a little bead. I'll put it on our little necklace holder and you have these fun, colorful beads. And I think this would look good again on a summer dress, like a nice white summer dress. How beautiful are those colors? So I like this one. And then we have two more pieces again this one has some stone and then a mix of clay beads sorry see it so that's really fun it has a barrel clasp there and it's working so that's 
nice. And this last piece has to be one of my favorites. I just love the delicateness of this necklace. And they feel like probably freshwater pearls. Look at how delicate and thin the necklace, you know, the string is. It's really, really pretty. I like these types of uh, types of jewelry so I would definitely wear this on date night or even on a regular nice wonderful afternoon or day on the beach I think this would look really beautiful so that is our last necklace in our six dollars and 99 cent jewelry jar I have one more item and this one was really an interesting Pick. I've always liked dolls, but these kind of caught my eye because of their dresses. I don't know if I like their faces much, but if you are a doll collector, please let me know if you would uh, recognize these dolls. They had a set of two of these bags, and they were selling it for $3.99. I picked this one because it looked like there were extra outfits in there, so I wanted to take a look and see what they look like. I'm also very fascinated of how they've made these miniature, really small dresses. And you can see how old this is. So let me know if you guys recognize. I know my friend Dale from Not Too Shabby Chic has a doll collection. So I'm hoping uh, she will hopefully recognize these dolls. And I'm going to have to look it up online. But you can see that the eyes open, open and close. And look at that dress. It is really cute. She has a complete outfit here. Let me see if this opens up. It does. Oh, there is a marking there. Let me take a look and see what that says. All right, guys, I am back. I had to get my glasses. So these are storybook dolls. And from my understanding, they came as a companion doll uh, with some storybooks. Um, I think just by feeling it, it is made of plastic. And the hair, I'm not really sure what it's made of, but I really like the way the dress was made. Let me know if you guys have come across these or know people that have this collection. Um, I think she's cute. Let's see what else is in here. There's three of them. I was trying to figure out if uh, they had names on the back of the doll, but I didn't see that. So here's another one i just love the dresses i'm not sure i like the face um, but this is the back this one has been pinned um, we can see if there is a marking there still is i'm just gonna have and then this is what they have underneath some shoes it's just a little paint not a true shoe there um, and it looks like these were produced sometime in the 1930s, 40s, or 50s. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not an expert with these types of dolls. I'm trying to see if they can sit or if they're jointed. This is definitely not jointed. You could see how straight that is. And I'm gonna put her right there. And here's another cute one. Oh my gosh, this one is really adorable. I wish that her eyes would open up. I have to hold it a certain way. Let me see. I can hold it. There you go. Beautiful dress that she's wearing. Love it. All the nice layers. And check it out. Her pants have a print unlike the other two. So that is really cute. And again, it has that cute little gold button. And in the back, it looks like she's been taped. Oh, wow. Okay. But really cute otherwise. I think they make adorable um little pieces that you can add to your collection if you have a doll collection i have a very small one i particularly like my precious moment dolls and um i forget now which the other two is i think it is an alexander geez i can't remember the name but i have one in rapunzel i may have shown it in a previous um thrifty haul. So I'm going to put her right here and see if she'll sit. Before I forget, I have one more item and it's a Halloween item. This was adorable. I couldn't resist it. There was three of these. So I'll put an insert shot right here real quick for you to see. 
I decided to leave the other two, although in hindsight, I think they would have looked great as a set. I decided to just get one because that's really all I need and that's all the space I have. I want to stick to more miniature items for the holidays from now on, now that the kids have grown. But I thought this would be a great addition to our little Halloween decor. And then the back, this is where you put your candle. So really, really cute. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little Savers Thrifty haul. Let me know which of these items were your favorite. I hope you enjoyed the jewelry jar unboxing. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye.